This is Scott the Fix-It Guy. Our goal with our videos is to empower you to be able to do the repairs on your own and save a whole lot of money and also get that great feeling of having fixed it by yourself. Today we have a Bosch dishwasher where the door opens too fast. It kind of falls open. And this is due to one of the um, springs that hold it up has broken. The string that kind of connects the spring to the door has snapped. Pretty common. Sometimes if both of them snap, then the door will just fall open. If one breaks, then the door will kind of open a little bit too fast, but really easy to fix. First thing we're going to do is unplug it, and then we're going to take out these two screws here at the top. They're holding in the dishwasher in the cabinet. We're going to take out these two screws on the bottom kick panel. And these are usually Phillips head screws. They might be also Torx 15 screws. We take this panel off. And then we want to lower the dishwasher a little bit by turning the center screw, lowers the back feet. And that allows the um, back of the dishwasher to drop a little bit. These ones in the front, we're turning to the left. You can use a pair of pliers. There's also slots where you can put a screwdriver in, a standard head screwdriver. Turn to your right. And that's going to make the front of the dishwasher drop a little bit. And then, depending on how your dishwasher is set up, you may have to uh, undo the drain line. You may have to undo the water fill line. On a lot of dishwashers, though, they give you enough extra drain line and fill line where you can slide the dishwasher out by about a foot and a half is all you really have to slide it out. So try just pulling it out gently and then see how it's doing. If you feel like there's some resistance though, it's probably your fill line or your drain line has to be disconnected. So this one came out pretty easily and I have really good access to the spring and hinge assembly here. I can see the little rope has, has broke, which is pretty common. Here's the part. You can get it at Amazon and it comes with two springs and also two new ropes. And you always want to replace both of them. Like you wouldn't want to do one and not the other. Like one might be broken, one isn't, but always replace the, both of them. Here's a little link for the part. It's pretty easy to do. So I have the new spring in position. I just put the top part of the rope over the hinge on the door and then I'm sliding the pivot piece down over a plastic pin that it fits on. We're going to see a little bit better de detail how this works on the other side when we, when we replace it. But I'm pulling this down and I'm sliding it onto the pin so that it can pivot. We already have the new spring in place. We have the rope connected to the hinge of the dishwasher. We just put down this fulcrum or pivot point and we can see there's the spring. It's in position. There's the rope, there's the pivot, and then we can see the plastic pieces hooked up to the hinge. I'm now hammering in the back end of that spring inside the plastic to hold it in, just tapping it in gently. Now we can see how the mechanism works and how it's going to give the door a little bit of support as it goes back and forth. The spring is going to help. So now we're on the other side. I'm going to use a standard head screwdriver to gently pry up the plastic piece that's bringing the rope onto the hinge. So I've got that now loosened up and I'm going to go ahead and take off the old rope and the old spring. And we're going to be replacing it with a new one. So I'm just going to lift that away, lifting the rope away, taking it off of the pivot and pulling the spring out. Now the back of the spring is going to be connected and I'll use a standard head screwdriver to give me a little leverage and I'm going to try to just wedge that old spring out of where it's been pushed into the plastic. So you can use pliers to do that. You can use a screwdriver. It comes out pretty easy. Here's the new spring. The newer ones are a little bit better designed. I'm going to just slide it in and then I'll tap it in with this small hammer to hold it in. And I've got the rope hooked up to the new spring. I'm going to put it over the pivot, put it over the top of the pivot, and then I'm going to pull pretty hard 
to make that spring stretch and I'm going to get that plastic piece to lift up over this metal hook. <clears throat> the metal hook is hooked onto the hinge. There we go. Now we'll test it make sure it's going to work. So that works well. It's, it's stretching and it's giving the door a lot of support. So if I let go, the door will just kind of close on its own. That's what you want. And that's now done. We're going to go ahead and push the dishwasher back in and we're going to be turning the center screw to the right. What that's going to do is lift up the back of the dishwasher up into the top of the cabinet. And that's what we want to do first. And then you'll notice that the dishwasher at the top is kind of leaning towards you. But then what you want to do is lift up on the dishwasher and then turn the little feet in the front to your left and that's going to raise up the front of the dishwasher. Your goal is to get the dishwasher really even. You don't want it to lean and you want to get it up as close to the top of the cabinet as possible. And just take your time, keep eyeballing it, try to get it nice and flush, try to get it to align with the cabinet on either side so it looks really nice. Once you have it where you want it, then we'll put those two Phillips head screws back in at the top. And those are the ones that really lock it into the cabinet. But I always like to get these adjustments done where it's pushed up into the top of the cabinet pretty snugly before I put in those screws. You want to make sure too that the door can easily open and close, that it's not going to get hung up on the top of the uh, countertop. So we're putting it in those slots and then turning to the left and that's raising up the front. So now we can see the door opens and closes a lot better. It kind of closes by itself, which is what you want. Making sure everything's nice and straight and then I'll go ahead and put those last screws in. And that's it. Shouldn't take you too long. And those will last probably four or five years. Here's a little link if you need to get that part. So thanks so much for watching and please subscribe when you get a chance.